ChatGPT has been taking over the entire internet. Not only can it write an entire Discord bot for you, but it can also write your English essay. And so today I'll be showing you guys how you can integrate it into your Discord bot. All right, so here I am in my VC Studio code. And first thing what we wanna do is we wanna grab ourselves the API key from OpenAI that we can actually use to create this. Okay, so you want to head on over to beta.openai.com slash account slash API dash keys. And over there, you'll see something like this. It says API keys, your secret API keys are listed below. And this is pretty much it. Now, you can't see the rest of this. And you want to go ahead and click new API key. Now, for you, this will be blurred out. And there you go. That's your one chance to copy it. And that's basically your API key that we will be using to actually create our discord bot so back to visual studio code okay so now that we have our api key i have mine stored in a config variable start off by doing is we can actually import io http and now this should be imported already when you're starting discord or next code pi code whatever uh any any fork would work with this uh, i'm just going to be using discord.py because i already have it set up and i don't want to set up next code anyways we're going to do bot.command just create a simple command and do async def and inside here we can do is something like ctx is commands.context and then we're going to do an asterisk and then we're going to do prompt prompt is going to be a string and now that we open that up we're going to be making a call to the open ai api and so in order to do that we're going to use aio http so basically what we're going to do is we're going to do async with AIO HTTP client session and inside here it's going to be a method and inside here what we're going to do is add session and then we can define a couple things so such as the payload and what the payload will be is it's going to be a couple of things that will basically guide what our API request. So we're gonna have a model, and we're, the model that we're gonna be using is the one that ChatGTP uses, which is called text da Vinci, da Vinci, um, and it's 003. Right, make sure you spell it correctly. I haven't, so there you go. And now up on screen, also you'll see a lot of simpler models that you can use in place of this, in case you don't want to use up as many credits uh, of the AI or of open AI credits because they'll only give you a very limited amount and so after that's gone you won't be able to you have to pay for more so now that we have our prompt as well this is just going to be the question that we're going to ask the AI we're going to add a temperature and temperature is going to be basically how much data that the AI will actually make up right and so it'll predict a couple of things so if you tell it something that doesn't exist right 0.5 i feel like is a good even you can also do 0.9 and that's how much of it will be creative right how much it'll make up and then we're gonna do max tokens and we're gonna set this to 50. now the larger this is the i guess larger your query can be or the response will be but it will also take up more of your credits so you just want to i feel like 50 is a decent even so it'll give you a bit of information but you know also won't take up a lot of information or a lot of credits now what we're going to do is we're also going to do presence penalty now there are more words going to to zero and there's more like information about all of these on their documentation which i will link down below in the description if you want to check it out and we're also going to do frequency penalty which is also zero and then we're going to do best underscore of so we just got the best one one Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna do headers. And this is gonna be used to actually authorize our Discord bot or authorize the API. So when we open this up, we can just do authorization like this, and then it's gonna be fstring bear bearer, and it's gonna be our API key, which I imported up here. You can just slap it in, depends, whatever you want to do. Now that we have both of those, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do async with session.post so we're gonna make a post request to our api and the api right here is it's not this it's actually i have it on the side here once again you can find this down below in the description or in the comments if i do forget 
and basically this is what the API is called so we're just going to want to pass in stuff so JSON is going to be payload and headers are going to be headers and we want to I guess whatever this returns we want it to be RSP which is going to stand for response and so as response so we can do something like response equals await resp which is what's returned here dot json and that's just going to give us our response and this is going to be a json format and so i've already went through the struggle of parsing it all it wasn't really that hard and so i'll just tell you what you need so it's going to be embed we're going to send this as an embed because they just look cool it's going to be discord.embed and the title will be something like let's say chat gpt's response and the description will actually be whatever it is so what we can do is we can add the toady keys uh you want to add three of them and then we're just gonna move this and so what it's gonna be is inside here we want to make sure this is an f string so like this and then we want to put it's, bit, it's formatted a bit weirdly but it still works so it should look something like this and so response will actually coordinate with this here and there is an error it says expected function name after death this is expected um that's on me and instead of async for death it should be async with and then over here all right so i just got rid of the f string altogether and all that i just directly passed it in it doesn't really make much of a difference anyways it'll still pretty much look the same but anyways now that we have that we can just simply do await ctx reply in case it's, uh, somebody's sending multiple of them right we can just do ctx reply embed equals embed and that's gonna be it so let's hop into discord and let's test it out okay so here i am in my discord uh link down in the description it's discord.gg slash glow stick we're on the verge of 1.4 thousand subscribers thousand members and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run help and so don't find the spot here but you'll see we have the gtp command gpt command and so if we do gpt uh we can add in the prompt that we want right so the question that i'm gonna ask or what i'm gonna say is tell the audience to subscribe There you go and it's going to take a bit of time to process uh but it should spit out back a result to us and so here it says chat gtp's response hey everyone if you're interested in learning how to make discord bots be sure to subscribe to glow stick great advice uh they make awesome videos that will teach you all the basics and more so myself also very good advice i feel like all of you guys should do this and it replied to me if i can ask something else something like gp full of point then once again it'll say heads right so you can ask it whatever and that's basically it this is chat gtp in your discord bot that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed and until next time glow stick out see ya